So far, you've worked with the get HTTP method and the post HTTP method to interact with the server. There are other methods as well, however, available to you in AJAX, including the head HTTP method, which gets information about the document you're trying to fetch or the URL you're accessing and the server you're interacting with. This example shows you more about how to work with head requests, as they're called, allowing you to get more information about the server. In this case, for example, when I click this button, display head information, then the HTTP header information for a particular URL will be displayed, and you can see what's available when I click the button. It says, for example, explains that the server is Microsoft Internet Information Server. The date of the document is given. The content type is text slash plain. The accept ranges gives you the type of data that the server can accept. Last modified gives you the last modified date of the document and so forth. Um, all this information gives you more information, all this data gives you more information about the document, the URL, and the server. The content length, for example, is, is of the document we're looking for is 38. So it gives you information, as you can see, about the, what server you're working with, which can be important to you, and what uh, more information about the document itself. So let's take a look at how this example works. First, it starts off by displaying the header, the HTML heading, read, reading header information, includes a button with the caption display head information and the familiar get data function that we are going to create in JavaScript. In this case, we're going to get information about something about the data.txt file that the our first example, Ajax example, the index.html example recovered from the server. That was just the file data.txt. So we can get information about that file, including its content length, using the URL data.txt. We'll display the results in the target div, the div element with the ID target div here, as you see there. And so let's turn now to the get data function. Here's the get data function, and you pass it the data source, which is just data.txt, and the div ID, which is the target div in which to display the results. And everything is this is more or less the same as you've seen before with the exception that instead of using the post or get method with the XML HTTP request objects open method, you use the head HTTP method instead. This indicates that you want to the server, indicates that you want to recover header information. So there you are. You say head and you say the data source, that's the URL from which you want to recover data. The rest is very much the same like this. As you see, you connect a callback function to the XML HTTP request objects on ready state change property. And then you can send, as with the get HTTP method, you can send a value of null to the server, and that will read the head information from the server about the document and also return data about the server itself because you're requesting all head information. And then when you're ready, when you the data is downloaded, you use the XML HTTP request objects get all response headers method. The get all response headers method is what recovers all the headers that have been returned to you. The headers hold information about the server and about the document, as already mentioned, and the way you can recover all those is with the XML HTTP request objects get all response headers method. And the text return from that call is displayed in the target div using the inner HTML property of the target div, and the results are, as you see here, and you can have the server, the content length. This content length corresponds to the length of, in bytes, of data.txt, the document you're interested in on the server, more information about the server, the current date, the last modified time of the document, and so forth. So it's good to know that you can recover HTTP header information if you're familiar with HTTP headers which tells you about the server and the document you're interested in using the get all response headers method of the XML HTTP request object. 
if you ask specifically for a the head information as you see there with the open method of the XML HTTP request object.